Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel at Face and Makeover. Today I'm joined with Paige. We're going to be checking out Pro Choice College Student is Confused by Biology, Chris. So to further ado, let's get started. What is the problem? What is the problem? I said you can Google it. Go ahead. I can tell you, it's not a human being. What is it? Is it a pall bear? I believe it's a zygote. <laughs> what is a zygote? A zygote, a zygote of what species? There's lots of different zygotes. There's, there's pall bear zygotes. Mm -hmm. There's elephant zygotes. Mm -hmm. What's a zygote? You have Google, you tell me. And what is your background in medicine and science? Fertilized egg is an embryo. An embryo is an early stage of development of a multicellular organism. In general, in organisms that reproduce sexually, embryonic development is part of a life cycle that begins after fertilization and continues to the formation of body structures. A fertilized egg is an embryo or a zygote, no matter how you want to call it, that's a member of our human being. You're using a dehumanizing term to dehumanize human beings in the earliest stages by saying, oh, it's just a fertilized egg. A fertilized egg, when sperm meets egg, a unique human life comes into existence with a brand new genetic code that's never existed before and will never exist again. And that new genetic code, what is, it? what is it? Is it dead? It's not alive. It's not a life. Wait. How can it grow into a baby if it's not alive? It's not a life. Then it's not. It's not a, what is it? So it's, it's living, it's but it's not a life. It's a thing. It is a clump of cells. I'm a, I'm a clump of You're cells. You're a clump of cells. Yeah, and you have I'm, a, I'm a thing. Yes. yes. And you have a brain. And you have brain waves. So, so, and you have the ability to have consciousness. You can feel, you can feel pain. An embryo has the ability to feel consciousness. Yes. Not until the third trimester. So now, so now, okay, so what you're saying is your value as a person is based on your functional abilities. Which is actually your autonomy is not until you have consciousness. Who? who? Says who? Says the law. Your bodily autonomy is not until you have consciousness? Yes, that is how bodily autonomy works. That is why you are able to harvest organs from people who are brain dead. And that's not how the law works because in PCD Planned Parenthood, the Supreme Court allows abortions to be restricted by states at about 24 weeks. But we but we know a child, a lot of people would argue that a child at 24 weeks isn't fully cognizant of who he or she is. So is Casey from Planned Parenthood wrong? People have varying opinions about it. I don't think life begins at a heartbeat. And a heartbeat bill that's not even a heartbeat yet. It's fetal cardiac pull activity is how you call it. Yeah, because it's, it's not a heartbeat. Yeah, it's just part of the heart that's developed. Yeah, so it's not heart a heartbeat. Is a the heart, heart isn't beating, beating yet. Yeah. It's, it's just not pumping blood, it's so it's just not a heartbeat yet. But it's not it's heartbeat. It's just sending electrical impulses, which is not a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And I asked earlier what your medical and scientific background was. I can Google. I Google. What was I have, your medical and scientific background? I don't background. have medical and scientific background because so I'm what a smart your person and I can Google. So you think your Google is better than a doctor? Hell yeah, because you just disputed when 96% of all biologists agree that at the moment of conception, a unique, whole, living human being comes into existence. You want to call it a fertilized egg, it's also called, via Google, an embryo or zygote. Those are stages in every person's life. You didn't come from an embryo or fertilized egg. You once were one. And you were valued today as a human being that makes you irreplaceable was the very same even when you were a fertilized egg or zygote in your mother's fallopian tube. It's the same because it's a slippery slope. If at any moment you start saying, well, I don't believe you have human rights until you have consciousness. I don't believe you have human rights until you fully have the ability to reproduce. You don't have human rights until you're fully grown. That's a slippery slope because every single one of us would come up with a different, different definition of when human rights begin. And throughout our history, as I pointed out at the beginning of my presentation, throughout history, when you allow people to decide what characteristics deem a human being worthy of life and that life worthy protection, we decided bad that things the Terry Schiavo case in the Supreme Court was stated that if you don't have brain waves, then you do not have bodily autonomy legally. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people I know would deeply disagree with what the Supreme Court said, just like how I disagree with what the Supreme Court said in Dred Scott and said that human beings who are black weren't full persons. 
Or the Supreme decide. Court said that in Plessy v. Ferguson that, yeah, you can have separate but equal sounds good to us. Or what the Supreme Court said in Roe v. Wade, the unique whole living human being doesn't have the right to be protected. I disagree with a lot of Supreme Court law. And by the way, what's the Supreme Court's background science? Because I'm pretty damn sure <laughs> in Roe versus Wade, the seven men that ruled the Roe versus Wade literally started out the decision saying, we're not scientists or philosophers here. I wish scientists were the ones that were making these decisions. Yeah, me too, because 96% of them agree that human life begins at the moment of conception. The question is, is that human life battle? You're like arguing yourself in a way it doesn't sound great for you. Excuse me? You don't. You just deny like science to everyone here. It is a life. It is a member of our species. That is, that is undisputed. That it is a life. It what you're arguing like is that that life doesn't have value. Let me help you. You're arguing that that life doesn't have value. That a woman's life has more value than your own. Hmm. I'm speechless. It's totally. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely speechless. By the way people reason and the way people think, I'm genuinely speechless. Mm. I have absolutely nothing to say. What do you think? Just as you said, there's nothing much to say about because I don't actually know where the girl was actually heading to. She's saying that a baby in the womb is not a baby because it does not have life. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't understand. Where are you heading to? A baby in the womb probably. It's a life. If a baby is dead, at least the doctors not just there will She's tell not you. She's not saying it's dead. Yes. She's saying that when a sperm fertilizes an egg and it starts forming from a zygote to um, a fetus, that it does not have life. It totally it's, has life. It's a clump of cell. It totally has life because, like I say, even in That's plants, all we all came out from. I surprise it. All plants grow. We just tell me now that the plants grow. It's just like when um a chicken delivers egg and you're like, it does not have, have life. life. It's an egg. It only has life. That is why to able to hash to produce those chicks. Regardless, I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> because it's stressful and it's weird. I feel we all have different beliefs and we all, yeah. all have different understandings Standing. about things. If you feel saying it does not have life, life. lessen your um, morality yeah. or your guilt, good for you. Good for you. But regardless, thank you so much for this video. We enjoyed it and would love to see more of videos like this. Do ensure to like, subscribe, and share our videos. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.